I'm Abel Alegria, and this is a Fade to Black mini-review. L'Incredule is a film by Federico Hidalgo about two Latin American couples trying to find their bearings in their home away from their homeland. Thomas and Sofia have lived in Montreal for a long time, but Sofia is feeling homesick for Latin America. Luisa speaks to Thomas and Sofia of charuflauta, an apparently curative procedure for melancholy. Sofia pushes Thomas to help Luisa and Mariano launch a local charuflauta agency. Though he doesn't have a clue what it's all about, Thomas agrees, and soon enough, the four partners start up a business dedicated to providing the service. The film depicts an environment where nobody seems to understand anybody else. Its absurdity plays out almost entirely in Spanish, set in the backdrop of Montreal. L'Incredule explores themes of intimacy and relationships as negotiated through particular individual terms. It seems as if there seems to be something that characters need to say to each other at every turn. In the end, Charuflata stands in as a metaphor for that unknown factor of the human condition, something we don't quite understand yet seem to constantly strive for. L'Incredule has a simple yet effective style shot by cinematographer Glauco Bermudez, paired with Hidalgo's subtle and sometimes deadpan approach that combines deep thought and comedy in the right amount. It's an amusing and engaging film about solitude, relationships, and what lies in the mix. Y'all know what Friday nights are like. We've got to be by the book tonight. I'm Abel Alegria, and this is a Fade to Black mini-review. Compliance is Craig Zobel's feature film based on real events that are so outlandish and disturbing that they might be perceived as nonsensical. However, that is far from the truth. The film is about events that unfold in a fast food chain restaurant. A middle-aged store manager, Sandra, deals with her petty issues of her business while the young staff go about their lives as usual. However, for Becky, the pretty attitude-filled 19-year-old, things will take an odd and dark turn. Sandra gets a phone call mid-shift from a male caller claiming to be a police officer, who explains that the police have received a complaint that Becky stole some money from a customer's purse earlier that day. The film begins with an extremely interesting and controversial subject matter, the issues of authority and submission, calling on the eerie themes of 1960s Milgram psychological experiments, characters are instantly placed in situations where they must deal and obey an apparent maximum authority. Though the first part of the film excels at generating tangible tension and mystery, the film begins to fall apart after the big reveal is made, way too early in the plot. There's just something about knowing everything way too soon, and that definitely takes away from the powerful potential that the movie had. The performances in the film are quite satisfying, especially from the relatively unknown cast. Stellar performances by Anne Dawn and Dreema Walker as both the manager and the young victimized employee. If you are willing to forgive the film's earlier big reveal and suspend your expectations of logical realism and are interested in a film that addresses issues of trust, respect, authority, and fetishism, then do check out Compliance. You know, that you need. <laughs>